you cannot delegate another person to make istikhara for you. It does not make any sense. Does not make any sense. Whether it is your, mo your mother or your father or you know, Maulana down the street or whoever it is, no one can do istikhara on behalf of anyone else because it's between you and Allah. So you want this person to tell Allah to choose for you, what are you doing? What a lazy, you know, see when the service to be provided with your feet up. Please make dua for me, ask Allah to give me what is good for me, barakallah feek. I'll just be waiting over here for things to happen. Ya akhi, ish fi, it's two rak'at in a dua, mashallah, what is this, what's so difficult that Mawlana has to do and you cannot do it? Say, I'm a bad person and Allah will not accept for me, then you're, you're thinking like Christians now. That's Christianity, I'm, I'm a filthy sinner, Jesus is righteous, so I worship God through Jesus, so Jesus can say, this is not Islam. A man killed a hundred people, 99, whom he made a hundred, a hundred, a criminal, a serial killer. They put these, you know, shows on TV, which I hope you don't watch, huh? From back in the days, about serial killers and stuff like that, this man killed a hundred, just like that. He didn't like the way he looked, <laughs> slit his throat, you know what I mean? Next, the guy was wild, then he just decided, huh? he wants to change. And Allah Azza made the whole earth shift in order for him to die closer to the village where the people were worshipping Allah so that the angels of mercy will take him to paradise. The man didn't even pray, didn't even fast, didn't even do hajj, didn't do anything. He had just finished killing a hundred people. But that's the mercy of Allah and that's the forgiveness of Allah. So don't be saying, Wallah, I'm a bad person, so let Mawlana pray for me because I'm not good enough. What do you mean you're not good enough? You could be in the sight of Allah closer than this Mawlana in your mind. Because he could be doing something you don't know and your state of belittling yourself is more, is more uh, you know, pleasing to Allah than that arrogant person. These are all from the unseen we don't know. That's why our deen is very straightforward. Very straightforward. Unless it is the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we would say, if you were in the company of the Messenger of Allah, then do as Allah said. After you make dua, ask the Messenger of Allah to make dua for you because his dua was 100% guaranteed. But that's not for anybody else afterwards. Let alone in these times, when corruption has taken over.